Many viewers have noticed that Jax is acting strange in the third episode. Jax does many different unusual behaviors that set him apart from all the other people in the digital circus. Because of this, several theories have arisen that have quickly gained popularity in the amazing digital circus community. One of the theories has been around for quite some time and you all know it. Jax may be an NPC and not a player. But just recently, another theory has emerged that explains it all. In fact, Jax is most likely a hacker. In addition to that, I have another theory that might turn your mind around about the plot of The Amazing Digital Circus. Kane and Jax are in cahoots. They are secretly working together to create new adventures. In this video, I'll break down all of these theories. I suggest we start by looking at all the oddities in Jax's behavior. In Tumblr, Gooseworks said of Jax, He's a pathetic loser with no friends. Jax has no friendships with any of the players in Digital Circus. No one likes his pranks but him. But Jax keeps doing what he does no matter what. He pranks all the other characters, with Gangle and Zubal being his victims most often. Jax loves to be cruel to NPCs. All of Jax's behaviors usually have a significant impact on how the team progresses through the adventure. Jax either makes the adventure easier for everyone or makes it harder. It can be inferred that Jax always motivates the characters to progress through the adventure. For example, in Episode 3, Jax decides not to trust Ghostly and sucks him into a vacuum cleaner. Jax then throws Gangle's mask through one of the doors. At this point, he accomplishes two of his tasks at once. He taunts Gangle and checks one of the doors. Even if Gangle's mask had ended up in the safe door, it would have gotten the whole team moving. In the second episode, Jax makes a pact with the Fudge Monster. With this, all the characters manage to escape Fudge, get out of the river, and begin the journey back towards the Candy Kingdom. But then Jax leaves the gate unlocked for Fudge, and the Candy Kingdom comes under attack. In the pilot, Jax pushes Gangle and Kinger into the Gloinks pit so they can finish the adventure faster. I noticed a very interesting pattern. In each of these situations, Jax is acting in Kane's best interest. Jax really doesn't have any friends among the players, the people in the digital circus. But it is likely that Jax and Kane are secretly friends. What Jax and Kane have in common is that we don't know what they both do in their spare time. On Tumblr, a fan asked Gooseworks a question. What does Kane do when he's not busy entertaining people? Does he just go into an inactive state, like a robot? Or does he perform some special task? Usually, Gooseworks evades the answer with the phrase, You'll have to wait and see. But this time, Gooseworks responds with, You don't want to know. Have there been times when Gooseworks answered a question using the exact same phrase? Yes. Gooseworks responded with the same phrase to the question, What does Jax do in his free time? This led me to think that the answer to both of these questions might be the same secret. My theory is that Jax and Kane are secretly friends with each other and work together. In their spare time, Jax and Kane develop new adventures together while none of the other characters see. This happens at a time when everyone is asleep. In Digital Circus, there is a change of day and night, and characters can dream. That said, sleep is not a prerequisite for survival. So Jax and Kane can work at night in one of Kane's subspaces. I think Jax's room could be the place where they work together. That would explain why we weren't shown Jax's room in the official pin. If this theory turns out to be true, a lot of strange facts will get explained. How does Jax have the keys to all the other characters' rooms? He could have gotten them from Kane with no problem. Many believe that at the end of Episode 3, Kane hinted to Jax about his ability that activates when he holds his breath. Kane said, Welcome back, my meowing milkmaids. Welcome back, my meowing milkmaids! Don't ever call us that again. None of the characters paid it any mind. Only Jax turned around and told Kane to never call them that again. How could Kane know about this ability if Jax is hiding it from everyone? Jax could have shown it to Kane on a break from work inside his room, where no one can go in uninvited. If Jax is involved in designing the adventure, that would explain how Jax knows how to simplify the adventure. It's as if Jax knew in advance that weapons could be found in the candy truck and that it would be possible to negotiate with Fudge. In Episode 3, Jax realized without a single doubt that the doors needed to be checked. Also, this theory explains why Jax can break the fourth wall and address the audience directly. In the third episode, Jax looked into the camera and addressed the audience to ask what we think happens when he holds his breath. In the pilot, Jax was also breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> she still thinks this is a dream. He looked at the camera and said, She still thinks it's a dream? Aside from Jax breaking the fourth wall and addressing the audience, only Kane and Bubble do so. 
If Kane and Jax are working together, Jax learned long ago from Kane that everything that goes on around him is a show the audience is watching. We can clearly see that Jax gets a lot of perks from this collaboration. But why does Kane need help from Jax? I think I've found the answer to that question as well. In Digital Circus, every character suffers from different psychological issues, including Kane. In Episode 3, we saw that the mere thought of the adventures Kane has done, that no one really likes in reality, is enough for Kane to start just breaking down. I think that's not the only reason Kane suffers. One Tumblr user asked Gooseworks if Kane could feel loneliness. In response, Gooseworks sent a picture of a slyly smiling Jax. In fact, Kane feels very lonely in the digital circus. The role Kane plays is unique, so he can't have any real friends among the regular NPCs. For that, he needs Jax's help, his attention. All the differences I have listed make us realize that Jax cannot be an ordinary player. Let's talk about what Jax can actually be. In the second episode, right after Kane made Gummy Goo disappear, he said that something terrible could happen if he confused a player and an NPC. I know you guys love your NPCs, but if I start losing track of who's a human and who's an NPC, who knows what could happen? From this, we can deduce that there is a possibility that the NPC is already among the players. It could be Jax. Just because Jax has a room doesn't mean he's a player. Dummies also have rooms, which are definitely NPCs. This theory also explains Jax's mysteries. I think Kane is more willing to cooperate with NPCs than players. Besides Jax, only NPCs know that the digital circus is a show and can break the fourth wall. In this version of events, Jax hides the special ability that happens to him while holding his breath because nothing happens to him. Only real players have the special ability. There is another variant, which is that Jax is actually a hacker. In episode 3, Kinger mentioned that he studied computer science for four years. This means that characters can remember certain things from their past lives. Gangle Pomni remembers how to drive cars. Kinger Pomni remembers how to use a shotgun. I've noticed that Jax is always trying to sort of test out adventures for himself. He's always looking for every interesting opportunity to break the adventure. As I said before, Jax has many differences from most players. He knows they are inside the show, and he doesn't show his specialness while holding his breath. In the pilot, Jax just vanished into thin air when he saw Kofmo abstracted. He took his bowling ball and just disappeared, leaving Pomni and Ragatha there. Jax may have pulled off this stunt by breaking the digital circus code. This would suggest that Jax is a hacker. Do you remember that it's likely that all of the characters have probably worked for the same company before? At C and A, Jax may have been a security specialist and a tester. This means that he would find different vulnerabilities in programs and try to hack them to identify problems. Jax is used to analyzing everything that happens, which is why he is so interested in the abilities of the digital bodies of each of the main characters. Jax also easily finds patterns, thanks to which he manages to find unexpected ways out of difficult situations. The treaty with Fudge in Episode 2, the door check in Episode 3. He could probably go to the digital circus with the goal of hacking into it and releasing all the players, but so far his mission has failed. What are your thoughts on this? Could it be true that Kane and Jax are creating new adventures together? Does Kane really feel loneliness? Who is Jax really? Is he a hacker or an NPC? What is in Jax's room? Write your thoughts and theories in the comments, and I'll be sure to read them. Remember, the best theories will make it into new videos. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Good luck, everyone, and bye-bye.